Hi, fellows! Unless you've been living under a rock for the past weeks, you are probably aware that Unreal Engine 5 has been recently released. And good news won't stop here, because at Brexinus, we have four ones to share. Good news number one, a new version of Iliad is available for Unreal Engine 5. And as usual, you will be able to paint and draw using our powerful blueprint brushes. Good news number two, Epos, our storyboard manager tool, is finally released! Epos is a project we started to develop in 2020 after the first teaser of Unreal Engine 5. The philosophy behind this development was to offer an intuitive and user-friendly storyboarding tool to 2D artists who are not familiar with Unreal Engine or 3D software in general. Here is a quick introduction. First, load a 3D environment of your choice. Two, Create a board sequence. 3. Create a shot sequence. 4. Click on the plus in the middle to add a camera. 5. Pilot this camera to find the right angle and perspective. 6. Enable Iliad. 7. Draw something. And when you're done, create a new shot and repeat steps 4, 5 and 7. Don't worry, other videos will be published to explain EPOS in details. In the meantime, you can read our user documentation online. Good news number three, EPOS development was supported by Omega Grant. From the bottom of our hearts, a very sincere and warm thank you to Epic Games for supporting again our work at Praxinos. And here come the news four. Praxinos will be a speaker at the online FMX on this Friday, May 6, 2022. In this conference, and for 45 minutes, I will be answering the question why bringing 2D into a game engine may change the animation industry. Two guests will be part of this conference, Ashbody and David Park from Passion Pictures, who will talk about their experience as beta testers for EPOS on the short film The Day I Become a Bird. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and share. Have a great day or night, and see you soon in the next video. Bye!